All right guys, so spring is here. It's finally getting warm. And what does that mean? Baseball movies. And baseball movies are some of my favorite films if they're done right. How did 42 stack up? 42 stars Chadwick Boseman as Jackie Robinson and Harrison Ford as the manager who decides he's going to be the first person to try to get a black man into white baseball because back in the day that was extremely offensive to a lot of people. And Harrison Ford's character is sitting in his office thinking, I want to win the World Series. I want to do something right. I want to contribute something to baseball. And when he does decide to do this, and he does meet Jackie Robinson, this film is essentially a tale of Robinson getting used to this new world and the world getting used to Robinson, as he proves himself a great baseball player and also tries to be a better man. And as I said in my intro, I love baseball movies. They have a special place in my heart. You know, movies like The Natural with Robert Redford or Field of Dreams or my personal favorite, The Sandlot. You know, if my dog was as ugly as you, I'd shave his butt and tell him to walk backwards. The Sandlot and Field of Dreams were movies that I watched over and over again as a kid, and I even got into making my own baseball film. It was my first feature-length film. It was called Phenomenon Field, and it is truly amazing. Lee awful. <laughs> but baseball movies have always had a place in my heart and I've really enjoyed watching baseball as well and going to baseball games and playing baseball. But going into this movie I was weary of something that a lot of these movies tend to have, these true stories. First off, a lot of the factual information is not factual at all. And second off, sometimes it can get really sappy and very melodramatic. 42 definitely has elements involved with it that are sappy, all the way to young children in the stands praying, please get a hit, please get a hit, and it's zooming in on the kid, and it's just a little too much, and 42 definitely does have elements like this. Nevertheless, I did find a lot of elements about 42 that were very well done, namely the acting and the directing. This is a very good looking movie. The baseball action in 42 is very impressively filmed, and the movie looks terrific, it does. And the scenes that aren't involving baseball, where characters are talking and there's dialogue, are actually very well directed too. The performances are also really good as well, particularly one, I'll get to that in a second. Chadwick Boseman as Jackie Robinson does a pretty good job. I think he does better in the last half of the film than he did in the first half, and I don't know if that's so much the difficulty of portraying a man who is so torn as he is, having to deal with constant racial prejudice at almost all times. And also the film depicts him as a man who has an extreme temper, who's trying very hard to withhold that. There are times when I felt that he could have been a little more reserved with his emotions in his performance in the earlier half of the film, but as the film progressed and his character matured, and he got better at dealing with that side of him, I really thought his performance improved greatly. And overall, I thought he did a nice job in the movie. In my opinion, the best performance in this film is actually Harrison Ford. He has that trademark Harrison Ford gravelly voice, but he he did something differently with it. It was a little bit southern, it was a little bit preacher-esque, you know, because he does talk about the Bible a lot in the movie, and that's one of the things they used it for his character as one of the reasons why he continuously is supportive of non-segregation. He doesn't want to have anything to do with that, and he constantly is quoting scriptures and everything, and I find that pretty entertaining to see Harrison Ford do that, because I've never seen him do a role like this. And I won't lie to you guys, I'll be honest, there was one scene in this film where Harrison Ford did such a good job at portraying a man who's trying to withhold emotion that has been deeply scarring him for a long time, I actually teared up a little bit because he did such a good job with that role and I believed that despite the fact that I've seen that man as Indiana Jones and Han Solo and so many other great characters, I believe that that was a baseball manager telling this story that he was afraid to tell. And that was so impressive to me. And I really dug his role in this movie. He did an excellent job. Now, as I said, for me, the first half of the film had a few issues, largely because it does come off a little bit sappy sometimes. A little bit too Hallmark Channel special. Some of the writing is a little too on the nose. But for the most part, I actually did enjoy this film. And it's largely because of the fun I had watching Jackie Robinson continuously school all of these players who think they can get the best of him simply because his skin color is different. I am so angry by racial prejudice, even today I see it constantly, and I do have a soft spot for movies in which there is some sort of triumph over that. The script is written by the director as well, and he wrote the scripts for LA Confidential and Mystic River, two fantastic screenplays. The guy is a good writer, he's written some bad scripts before that I won't mention, but he is a good writer, and some of the dialogue in this film is really well handled. As I said, a little bit of it gets a little cheesy sometimes, but for the most part, I did enjoy 42, the baseball action was great, and the performances were very well done, so I'm gonna give 42 a B. If you're a fan of baseball films like I am, or if you just want to go see a movie that reminds you that it's getting warmer outside finally, 
check out 42. There are some elements to it that will probably make you roll your eyes and go, oh, that's a little too much for me. But I'd say give it a chance specifically for the performances and the direction alone. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And as always, if you like this review, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.